In this video, we pay tribute to the celebrities who tragically passed away today. Join us as we remember their incredible contributions to the entertainment industry and the impact they had on our lives. From legendary actors to renowned musicians, this video is a heartfelt acknowledgement of their talent and legacy. Stay tuned as we honor these beloved stars and reflect on their extraordinary careers. Frank Housen. He was an Australian theater and film director, screenwriter, and singer. He directed Flynn, 1996, on the early life of Errol Flynn and hunting. Housen, with Peter Boyle, helped establish Boulevard Films, which produced 13 films from Boulevard of Broken Dreams, 1988, to Flynn. Besides producing for Boulevard Films, Housen often wrote scripts and directed. Housen was born in Melbourne and started in show business when he was seven. Housen was manager of the Australian branch of German-based IC Housen and Alan Zavod wrote Time Can't Keep Us Apart, which won the 1987 Asian Popular Song Contest, performed by Kate Seberano, to an estimated TV audience of 500 million. He was born on 10th of March, 1952. He died on 9th of February, 2024, died from cancer, at the age of 72. Jimmy Van Eaton. He was an American rock and roll drummer, singer, and record producer, best known for his recordings as the drummer, in sessions with Jerry Lee Lewis and others at Sun Records in the 1950s. Lewis referred to him as the creative rock and roll drummer. He formed his first band, the Jivin Five, initially playing Dixieland jazz, before forming his first rock and roll band, The Echoes. They recorded a demo at Sun Studio with the engineer Jack Clement, who was impressed and recommended Van Eaton and the band's bass player, Marvin Pepper, to the singer Billy Lee Riley, who was forming a touring band, The Little Green Men. Van Eaton played on some recordings for other Memphis labels. He was born on 23rd of December, 1937. He died on 9th of February, 2024, at the age of 86. Cecilia Gentili. She was an Argentine-American advocate for the rights of transgender people and sex workers. Born in Argentina, she moved to New York City. She held leadership positions at the LGBTQ HIV AIDS care nonprofits, GMHC and APICHA, co-founded a free clinic for sex workers at Callan Lord Community Health Center, co-founded Decriminoi, an organization which successfully decriminalized sex work in New York and repealed the Walking While Trans Law and founded Trans Equity Consulting. She filed a lawsuit challenging the Trump administration's removal of non-discrimination protections for gender identity in the Affordable Care Act. She was born on the 6th of January, 1972. She died on 9th of February, 2024. Due to cancer, she was 52. Juris Kulakovs. He was a Latvian musician and composer. He learned to play the accordion at a music school later learned to play other keyboard instruments at the J. Medins Music High School and was one of the first owners of a synthesizer in Latvia. During his studies in 1978, Kulakov joined the band Minuet, playing keyboards in it until the band's disbandment in 1983. The band also performed some of Kulakov's compositions. In 1981, together with some of the members of Minuet, he created the rock group Percons. He was born on 20th of May, 1958. He died on 12th of February, 2024, at the age of 65. Cause of death is unknown. Petar Lukovic. He was a Serbian journalist, newspaper editor, and one-time rock critic. He attended the 6th Belgrade Gymnasium and graduated from the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering at the University of Belgrade. He started his career in 1976 as a journalist for Duga magazine, he was born on 21st of January, 1951. He died on 12th of February, 2024. Died after a protracted illness at the age of 73. Bob Edwards. He was an American broadcast journalist who was a Peabody award-winning member of the National Radio Hall of Fame. He hosted both of National Public Radio's flagship news programs, the afternoon All Things Considered and Morning Edition where he was the first and longest serving host in the latter program's history. Starting in 2004, Edwards hosted The Bob Edwards Show on Sirius XM Radio and Bob Edwards Weekend, distributed by Public Radio International to more than 150 public radio stations. Those programs ended in September 2015, 
Edwards also hosted a podcast for AARP. He was born on 16th of May, 1947. He died on 10th of February, 2024, at the age of 76, died from bladder cancer and a heart ailment. Pablo Grant. He was a German actor and rapper based in Berlin. He was also a member of the Berlin rap collective BHZ under the name Dead Dog. Pablo Grant was born in Berlin in 1997 and completed his acting studies in 2017 at the Transform Schauspielschule, Transform Acting School, in Berlin. He started acting in television and films in 2015 and made his film debut in the German Bibi and Tina movie, Bibi and Tina, Mädchen gegen Jungs. He released his first solo album, Dark Black, in 2019. He also appeared in numerous other German television series through 2023. He died on 6th of February, 2024. He died from a thrombosis at the age of 26. Steve Wright. He was an English disc jockey, radio personality, and occasional television presenter, credited with introducing the morning zoo format on British radio, known for its zany, multi-personality approach. He presented Steve Wright in the afternoon for 12 years on BBC Radio 1 and 23 years on BBC Radio 2. Two of the BBC's national radio stations, the latter being the most popular station in the United Kingdom, ending on the 30th of September, 2022. Wright won awards, including Best DJ of the Year, as voted by the Daily Mirror Reader's Poll, and by Smash Hits in 1994. In 1998, he was awarded Trick Personality of the Year for his radio programs. He was born on 26th of August, 1954. He died on 12th of February, 2024, at the age of 69. Cause of death is not known. Ruth Wolschlegel. She was a German actress. She studied from 1973 to 1975 at the Hamburg University of Music and Theatre and from 1979 to 1981 at the Lee Strasberg Institute in Los Angeles. She had theatre engagements at the Bochum Theatre, at the Free Volksbühne Berlin and at the Wuppertal stages. She was known for Cascadeur, 1998, Tatort, 1970, and The Power of Feelings, 1983. She was born on 4th of December, 1955. She died on 13th of February, 2024, at the age of 68, died from heart failure. Alain Dorval. He was a French actor, best known as the official dub voice of Sylvester Stallone, Nick Nolte, and the Disney character, Pete. His voice was also featured on the radio stations Skyrock and Adio. He is also known for being a regular voice in animation and video games, notably since the early 1990s dubbing the character Pat Hibbelaire in Disney Productions, Tiger in the Fievel films, as well as Crew and Brudder in the game series Jack and Daxter. Began his career in the theater before discovering dubbing by chance one. He became the French voice of Sylvester Stallone since the film Rocky in 1976. He was born on 9th of August, 1946. He died of cancer on 13th of February, 2024, at the age of 77. Alexander Fabisiak. He was a Polish film and theater actor. He was known, among other things, for his role as a prosecutor in the film Dogs. He worked with directors such as Andrzej Wajda and Krzysztof Zanussi. He was born on 8th of September, 1945. He died on 9th of February, 2024, at the age of 78. No cause of death was given. Harold Mitchell. He was an Australian businessman, media buyer, philanthropist, and humanitarian. Mitchell became a successful media buyer, founded his own company, and led the development of the media buying industry in Australia. In 2000, he created the Harold Mitchell Foundation, which donates money to various causes promoting community health and the arts. Mitchell was a champion of sport, helping to ensure the long-term viability of soccer in Australia. Harold Mitchell presented the 2003 Andrew All Media Lecture. Mitchell addressed the National Press Club on the 1st of September 2009. Mitchell was a 2013 national finalist in the Australian of the Year Awards. Mitchell appeared on the ABC television program Q and A. He was born on 13th of May 1942. He died on 10th of February 2024 at the age of 81, died after complications from knee surgery. Johanna von Kotzian. She was a German actress. She grew up in Salzburg, Austria, 
where actor Gustav Gründgens offered her a role at the Salzburg Festival. She later portrayed Anne Frank at the Schiller Theatre in Berlin, but her breakthrough in cinema was her role in the 1957 remake of Victor and Victoria. She appeared in 60 films and television shows since 1955. She starred in the film The Marriage of Mr. Mississippi, which was entered into the 11th Berlin International Film Festival. Johanna von Kotzian was married to music producer Wolf Kabitsky, who died in July 2004. She is the mother of German actress Alexandra von Kotzian. She was born on 30th of October, 1933. She died on 13th of February, 2024, at the age of 90, died in his sleep. Sasha Montenegro. She was a Mexican actress of Montenegrin descent. Starting in the mid-1970s and through towards the late 1980s, she obtained roles in several Mexican comedies. She participated in four telenovelas and had a starring role in Una Mujer Marcada, A Tainted Woman, 1979. In 1991, she married José López Portillo, President of Mexico from 1976 to 1982. She was born on 20th of January, 1946. She died on 14th of February, 2024. At the age of 78, died of a stroke caused by the lung cancer. Too Mad. He was a Canadian YouTuber and Twitch streamer who became popular in 2017. Sedic achieved growth and popularity online, accumulating millions of subscribers and views on multiple accounts on YouTube, as well as other social media platforms, such as Twitter. He was born on 17th of December, 2000. He died on 9th of February, 2024, at the age of 78. Died of a succumb to a drug overdose. Eddie Chiba. He was an American DJ in New York in the 1970s, considered to be the number one club DJ. Eddie, real name Edward Sturgis, was born in New York and grew up in the Douglas Projects of the Bronx, where he attended Brandeis High School. Chiba was a close friend of DJ Hollywood, and they frequently influenced each other's styles. Chiba is credited with inspiring Def Jam Recordings founder, Russell Simmons, to pursue a career in hip hop when Simmons heard Chiba perform in Harlem in 1977. Chiba died on 13th of February, 2024, at the age of 67, died of stroke. Jose Pinto, he was a Portuguese actor. He was best known for The Portuguese Falcon, 2015, the Shadow of the Vultures, 1998, and Low Altitude Flying Device, 2002. He was born on 15th of January, 1929. He died on 16th of February, 2024, at the age of 95. Cause of death is unknown. Jose Pinto. He was a Canadian drummer and actor. He was known for Helix, Heavy Metal Love, 1983, Helix, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, 1983, and Helix, Make Me Do, Anything You Want, 1984. He was married to Tracy. He died on 16th of February, 2024, at the age of 68, died from cancer. Jose Pinto. He was a Polish actor. He was known for Adventure with a Song, 1969, Life is Hot, 1979, and Supernova, 2019. He was born on 20th of February, 1942, he died on 16th of February, 2024, at the age of 81, died after battling stroke. <laughs>